Can we cover an 8x8 chessboard with 15T shade tetrominoes and one square tetromino? Just like last coloring problem, we have an 8x8 chessboard, so we're gonna color, color the chessboard with black and white, just like this. If you remember like last time, black and white were alternating, just like a chessboard. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what a T-shaped tetromino looks like. It looks like this, literally a T. This is sideways, but it looks like a T. And a square tetromino looks like this. And just like last time, we're going to color these shapes. But before we do that, we have to convince ourselves whether or not we actually can cover the chessboard with these shapes. If you have a chessboard, you can try, you know, drawing it out, seeing it, seeing if it actually works, convincing yourself that you can or you cannot. But um, a good way to start is checking to see if you have enough squares from these uh, shapes. We have 15 of these. We also have one of this. And each of the T-shaped tetromino covers four squares. Uh, so that'd be 15 times four, which is 60 squares. And you have four squares for the square tetromino. And in total, you do have 64 squares. So it is possible to cover the chessboard just based on the numbers. But we're going to see if it's actually possible to cover it with these shapes by using coloring. Just like last time, let's try coloring the tetrominoes. For this one, the square tetromino, let's just say colored is black and left not colored is white. Then it always covers two black and two white because, you know, whether it's here or whether it's, you know, here, it always covers two black and two white. So let's just write that down. Two black and two white. But for this one, this is different because you, you have two cases for this one. The first one is when it covers three black and one white. And the opposite would be, of course, three white and one black, three uncolored and one colored. So this is one black and three white. So looking at this, from this one, we know that it uh, colors two black and two white, just like that. So from our total 64 squares, we need 32 black and 32 white because this is how we colored in the beginning. But we only have one of this one, which leaves us with 30 black and 30 white squares to cover using the T-shaped tetrominoes. And what this means is that the remaining 30 black and 30 white squares, it requires an equal number of tetrominoes of this kind and this kind. Meaning that if you're gonna have seven of this, you need a seven of this. It's because if you have more of one kind, for example, say that you have, for example, you have seven of this and eight of this, then you're going to have more white squares than black squares. And we don't want that because we want equal number of black and white squares. Which means that, again, you need an equal number of each kind of tetrominoes. However, in the problem, if you look, we only have 15 T-shaped tetrominoes. <laughs> Since 15 is an odd number, you can't have an equal number of these two tetrominoes right here. So this covering is actually impossible. Thanks for watching our videos, and if you have any questions or comments, please let us know at Math Express. Happy learning!